This 10 metre, 200 kilogram drill has been specially designed to bore down below the Antarctic ice, reaching depths of up to 2,800 metres. It'll lift up layered ice cores like this one, containing tiny trapped bubbles, which reveal what Earth's climate was like when this ice fell as snow. We're not just going to capture that point at a million years ago, we will actually have the whole ice core to be able to reconstruct past climate right through to present day. Scientists at the Australian Antarctic Division hope this information will also help create more accurate models of future climate change. Producing a million year core will also help answer one of Antarctic science's biggest questions. We used to see one ice age occur every 41,000 years. Around a million years ago, this changed to one ice age every 100,000 years. Currently, we have no understanding of why this occurred. There's a reason it hasn't been done before. Getting people, machinery and accommodation to the drill site called Little Dome C is a massive operation. This is the, the last great adventure on Earth, a 1300 kilometre expedition which will take our expeditioners and scientists and the million year ice core drill to the highest point in Antarctica. And the need to bring up the cores in three metre pieces means doing it every season for up to five years. The researchers will be living in these accommodation units on these giant sleds for about three months at a time, working eight hour days at minus 30 degree temperatures. This is all made possible by the arrival of the new research vessel Noyena, and just in time, given Australia isn't the only country in the hunt for the million year core. Will Murray, ABC News.